Welcome to the Theatre of Dreams in Debu as the baptism of fire awaits today's visitors, Nations FC, as they begin their football journey as Premier League debutants. They come up against Ghana's representative in the CAF Confederations Cup, Dreams FC. This is a game that uh, precedes all others by virtue of the fact that it's one of the two outstanding games to uh, herald the closure for match day one. Here we go, it's uh, match time at the Theatre of Dreams. Yeah, Boahini, um, the Dreams one trying to go through the midfield and once again, they had no other option than to foul it. Game continues. Adadi with a pass. Johnny T trying to go solo. Stop dead in his tracks there, but! Oh! It was just a matter of time before Dreams FC could establish their superiority in this game, seven minutes, almost eight, gone in the first half. And Nations FC have been rocked by that incessant pressure from Dreams FC. It was coming. When you look at the Johnny factor again, the defender for Nations tried to clear the ball, but good effort. And he just took it on the bounce and straight into the, 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 goal, the goal post. I feel that the goalkeeper for Nations FC should have done better on that occasion, but kudos to Enoch Abu being very, very sensitive on that occasion to pounce on the loose ball. And then they were the through, they are looking for support as they come forward. On the bench for Dreams FC this afternoon, they've got the likes of uh, Ofori McCarthy, Dede Ishmael, and of course, Gael Avosebu Aholu. Nations have an opportunity. Lovely pass through the middle. Nafiu gets them back on level begging. It's the first goal for Nations FC, but unfortunately, that won't count. Flag is up. That would have been a classic goal. Nafiu! Nafiu! Nafiu tries his chance again. Second attempt. The defense of Dreams FC working overtime. Nations FC are on the ascendancy. Uh, after that goal, uh, they clearly showed intent that they want to get back into the game. And good save from Solomon and a good defensive header from the defender for Dreams FC for uh, the attacker to yeah. have a go at it. The advantage will now go to the visitors' free kick quickly effected. Razak has been solid on the left hand side of defense for Nations FC. But this is an opportunity as they come forward. They push it on a bit too long. Anytime they've had a chance to take a shot at goal, it's been a team effort. And I don't think that but now they're coming forward. The cross is on. Abashi to the rescue. Pick up the pieces from the middle and then it's drifted and drilled forward through the middle. Abu with a pass. Entry finding Abu. As a clash there on the far side. Referee's whistle. Well, a little bit of a delay in the whistle. Not too sure whether Charles Bulu was going to give the advantage to the attacking team. Eventually, it's Nations with the advantage. And we see John Enchi again trying to uh, get the ball into his, uh, his teammates, but I think he went a shade too early. Free kick at 45 Fonte. minutes is up. We're playing two minutes of add on time. Ball swung in by Botry to the far side. Oh. And we see that cross again. Great, great header uh, from the Nations FC man. And it was a looping header. But unfortunately, couldn't find the back of the net. And it's Dreams FC who kick off the second half, playing from left to right. First, about the fact that they are down by one goal to nil, they'll still push forward. Here's Gia's long pass. And this time, some luck for Achiman. Swings to the far side. Good play. Yes, Suleimana. Tries to go around his mark. I sense it. Richard misses completely. A chance. But she had to come out. Scary situation in the box for Dreams FC, and you look at that uh, from Richard. Clearly, a miss trying to get to the ball, and it could have been dangerous. Dreams would want to take the advantage this time from the far left through the middle. Of the pass is on. Oh, what a miss! What a miss! John Entry could have done much better. And you see that ball again to Ishmael Dede on the left side, and the cutback was. A good pass to John Enchi. Yeah, the opportunity is coming the way of Nations FC now. Good pass laid on there by Midu Diara. Quick turn. But again, it misses the target. The idea was good. It 
lacked a little bit of uh, clear, proper execution from Berma Bam. Uh, midfield was superb, just took his time, took his calm on the ball, turned his marker out. But the finishing, once again, Prince, the finishing is the problem for Nations FC. Lots of excitement in the stands, and I can tell you it's all being generated by the visitors, Nations FC. Etia Hene. Trust him to add his speed, his speed and resilience is an opportunity. Rapin closes in nicely. But defending by the goalkeeper had to come off his line and it's now an opportunity on the far side. Ishmael, oh, tidied up nicely. There's Bia. Drills it into opponent half. Opportunities for... Nations FC into the 18 yard box. Just could not control the ball the way he wanted to. And it was a good cross from Barry Maba. Uh, I don't think that the attacker for Nations FC should have taken a touch. At least he should have picked his spot and put power behind his header. The Nations will come forward. This looks good. Now, few Suleiman has set up the pass. The connection was there. But they lacked the direction from Ishmael NG. Oh, what a finish that would have been. Cross came on invitingly, tapped on nicely, but he missed the target completely. Referee's whistle goes, and that is the end of proceedings here at the Theatre of Dreams. Wonderful performance from both sides. The fans have loved every bit of it. Nations have been at the receiving end. But always a smile on his face, Dr. Kwame Che. And I'm sure that uh, he's happy with the performance. Full-time score from the Theatre of Dreams. It's Dreams FC 1, Nations FC 0.